Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Mooney Aircraft furloughs employees, the Naval Air Museum may be taken out of Kalailoa Airport, and Boeing updates the progress of the 737 MAX recertification efforts. I'm Sophie Herlock. The Mooney factory in Kerrville, Texas is currently closed and all of its employees have been furloughed. A post on the MooneySpace.com indicated employees had been furloughed for a week and told to return to work a week from Monday. No other details were made available and there is no indication of the furlough on the company website. Back in 2008, the company cut production and laid off around 60 employees, citing a weak economy and high fuel prices. The company continued to clear its backlog of aircraft, but no new airplanes were produced. In 2013, Mooney was purchased by California-based Soaring America Corporation, and production resumed in 2014 after an infusion of capital from Chinese investors. At the moment, it's unclear what this current furlough means for the company's future, whether it'll be a bump in the road or a permanent closure. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Finally, a modern, affordable four-seater without compromise. Turbocharged Rotax 915IS Power. 155 knot cruise, 800 nautical mile range, a thousand feet per minute climb, and all that at eight gallons per hour. Don't compromise. Check out the Sling TSI today at airplanefactory.com. Welcome back. It's time for today's trip around the patch. Bombardier's 23rd annual Safety Standdown, one of the most comprehensive safety conferences in the aviation industry, is set this week in Fort Worth, Texas. This year's theme, Elevate Your Standards, prompts aviation professionals and organizations to establish new standards to put them on the path to a safer, more productive future. On November 7th, the EAA inducted Robert Knuckles, John Turgan, John Morrissey, Dennis Sander, and Maury Hummel into the EAA Sport Aviation Halls of Fame during a ceremony at the EAA Aviation Center in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Each inductee represents a spectrum of aviation within the EAA community, and more information on each inductee can be found on the EAA's website. X-Craft Enterprises, a manufacturer of purpose-designed drone systems, which gained fame with a deal on Shark Tank, has appointed Burt Rutan to its board of directors. Rutan, a world-renowned aeronautical engineer, will provide expertise in the design, prototyping, and production of X-Craft flying robots for commercial, industrial, and defense applications. Flight Safety's Flight Smart is a new, fully integrated training tool developed in conjunction with IBM, a world leader in advanced analytics and AI. Flight Smart is designed to increase training effectiveness and enhance safety through automated intelligent and objective training. Flight Safety has received a contract for Flight Smart from the United States Air Force Air Education and Training Command. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einen globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. Citing concerns over general liability coverage and fluid spill violations at Kalailoa Airport, the Hawaii State Transportation Airport's division issued a revocation notice to the Naval Air Museum and ordered them to vacate the premises. Museum Director Brad Hayes feels the eviction is not justified and has vowed to fight the move. We are being wrongly evicted 
off of the airport for two items, lack of insurance, we've always kept insurance, um, and our, our environmental spills and trips on the deck, which we always are constantly cleaning, but we had an inspection and we got dinged on some spills and we had that closed out. We have proven beyond a doubt that we have all the regulation uh, documents that we need to be aboard and this community and this island need to save as many cultural resources as they can. Hayes said he provided proof of insurance and a report from the EPA clearing the museum. But Transportation Department spokesman Tim Sakahara said the documents were provided after the revocation order was issued, so it will stand. The museum has paid rent to the state on a 30-day revocable permit at Kalailoa Airport since August of 2000. The state also claims the museum has expanded its footprint well beyond the 2,423 square feet it was authorized to use. However, museum historian Brad Sekigawa said the museum would be willing to downsize to stay on the field. The museum has a petition on change.org as well as a GoFundMe page if you would like to help keep it open. Boeing released a statement updating its efforts to return the 737 MAX to service. Boeing says it's working closely with the FAA and other regulatory authorities as they work towards certification and safe return to commercial service. While the FAA and other regulatory authorities will determine the timing of certification and return to commercial service, Boeing continues to target FAA certification of the MAX flight control software updates during this quarter. Based on this schedule, it's possible the resumption of MAX deliveries to airline customers would begin in December after certification when the FAA issues an airworthiness directive rescinding the grounding order. There are five key milestones Boeing must complete with the FAA before return to service. FAA ECAP Simulator Certification Session FAA Line Pilots Crew Workload Evaluation FAA Certification Flight Test Boeing Final Submittal to the FAA and Joint Operational Evaluation Board Simulator Training Evaluation Boeing and the FAA successfully concluded the first of these milestones this past week and are now working towards the FAA Line Pilots Evaluation and the FAA Certification Flight Test. And that wraps up our show for today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. Head on over to aero-news.net for the latest aviation aerospace news any time of the day. I'll see you tomorrow.